Alright, what's up everybody? It's your homie. It's your boy, your baby YouTuber, Sleepy Snake with another video today. And today guys, we're gonna be going over uh the Knights of Blood Swords Swordsman Sword Swordsman Well I can't pronounce it. Swordsman Birdwick, uh we're gonna be going over the banner scene what's open the banner and should you summon on his banner or not, or should you keep summoning for one punch man units? We're gonna be talking about that. Before this video starts, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Shout out to everybody that joined the team. I really appreciate you guys uh, for all the support and everything. We're like, by the time, while I'm making this video, it's like we're at 998, almost there, like two away. Uh, it's the same, but we are doing a giveaway. And why is my camera not focusing? All right, guys. So this will be a quick video. Just want to let you guys know that. And uh, other than that, hit that subscribe button, and you already know what we're gonna do. Join the crew. Let's get straight into the video. All right, guys. So you see right here, Swordsman Bird Wick is here. We already went over him, as you know, the 40k uh, on his true arts with the magic drive of 180 seconds. Fizzes all allies at max HP by 20% and physical damage by 100% for 10 seconds with a break of 3,500. You know, we got his skills, Flare Wave, and his arts, Quick Draw Flame Blade. We went over, we went over all the Blood Knights one video. If you haven't go, if you haven't watched that video. Couple videos back, um, go watch it and 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 enjoy it. We'll go over all the blood knights, in my opinion, on the blood knights. So this is stats right here. I'm gonna really go over the other units that's in this banner and see if you should summon for them. Uh, but his um, event is gonna be here too at the same time, so we'll be able to play his event of at three part one, the coffin in the sky. Um, these equipped items right here, uh, I haven't really got looked much into them. But uh, I'm really, I'm really hyped to go over them and see how they do in game. Uh, so we got a uh, destruction machine. We have a vet, uh, which is great. You know, I have Celia and uh, Dark Malia. All right, the vet, great for Earth Mono. I want to say that right now. Uh, she, she, she increases on her true arts. Fire, earth, fire, water, earth uh, units damage by 60% and reduces enemy break by 25% for 20 seconds. So. Her stuff is not selfish. Uh, she helps out your other teammates. She helps out not even not even earth units, fire units, and water units, um, which is real great for earth mono team. I used her for our earth mono team. I still have to uh, max max limit break her, but other than that, uh, so so far she's been great. Dark Malia, we already know about her. She's been in the game for a minute. OG, oh, we're not gonna really talk about her. Everybody even knows about. Her, I mean, all these units pretty much been in here, but uh, Celia, uh, I, I'm, I'm like a mid. I'm like, I got hatred for her. Like me, she's like my ex, but my ex, I still go be going back to. Okay, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. But I don't have her, which sucks. But I kind of do. I pretty much want to. I wish I had every unit in the game that's in global, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the trust machine got us. She does 27k of 27,450 water damage magic reduces enemy defense by 100% for 12 seconds when activated with a golden machine. Machina, golden machina will reset. Alright, so we're going to the skills golden machina outputs of two golden machina that gives 1,000 water damage magic. The more golden machines, the more damage. Remember that, guys. And has a CT of 8 seconds with. A break of 400 and sure is a break of 3,800 we go to our arts right here ultra bullet was 11,450 water damage magic reduces all allies skill CT by 30 seconds 412 oh 30 percent 412 seconds excuse me water units getting an extra 30 percent so this that should be good for water mono uh, I'm kind of iffy on her true arts um, a little bit iffy but I do like it and I love her equipped with uh, the two five-star magic or two five star uh, support, excuse me. Levit equips, excuse me, uh, has a five star support, five star attack, and they're like, oh god, that's just, that's just so freaking juicy. Pretty much all of these units right here have good equip slots that you can uh, get on and help out your team so your team wouldn't be so selfish. So, you know. Um, with Bird Wick, having Bird Wick on this banner. Um, and getting teams that you can possibly feel for a mono team is actually not that bad to summon on but you got to think about the other units that's going to be coming out in the future because it's pretty much a, a blood knight drops every month uh, once the season starts so once a month a blood knight would drop so if you want Burwick 
you know, you want the princess, you know, what, whatever you want, you know, you, gotta, you need to save up for it. Then that's the same with Lunch Punch Man. You know, we got these units out here. We got Sonic, um, girls, like, should I steal summon for them? Should I steal summon for them? Should I send my out? I would recommend you that you should farm a bunch of elk as much as you can because this banner is coming tomorrow and um, that's pretty much like yeah, I mean this banner will be here for a while so you got time to farm elk uh, but you need to save your crystals as much as you can as much as you can play the story if you haven't you get a lot of crystals for those if you are new uh, but for most of my veteran players you already know what to pretty much to do for some before for new players I would try to save up as many crystals as I can um, and use those crystals to summon for Sword Burberry. Sword Burberry is basically like a low tier box. It's basically, um, I would say, box, but uh, a box, but Dragon Ball, right? Dragon Ball, but box, box is Super Saiyan God. Sword Burberry, Sword Burberry is not even Super Saiyan. That's how, that's how it is, right? Okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe, and thank you for all the support. Almost at 1K soon, babies, and uh, thank you. I love you guys so much. Y'all help me achieve uh, my dreams, and we're, uh, we're going to keep on going. All right. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys. I'm keeping it 100.